there, it's Karen Stever, and I'm here with Frank Greiner at thepublicrecord.com. How you doing? Hey guys. <laughs> we, have, we have been hosting Stever's Public Playground Project, which has been a community effort to help us build a song from the ground up. We went ahead and did that, didn't we, Frank? That's what happened. We just have... We just have that just happened. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> nice, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> can, how long can we go before doing a Will Ferrell quote in uh, anything that we uh, do? We have to try to be on our best behavior. <laughs> Shake <laughs> and <laughs> what's the? No, you got to be on camera today. She does it better than I can. There's the gesture of shaking Shake and, and then bake. baking. Yeah, something like that. Um. So we did. We got the song built, and we're in the final mixing stage here, where we're sh we finally shoved this great big thing down, right, Frank, and put the intro on it. We yeah. said before we were avoiding that, just because you know it's a big job to shove all that down and still be well, able to bring uh, yeah, tracks in from other satellite sessions and stuff. Yeah, so. it's easier when it's you know when you got all the pieces, in, and then you can you know add a bunch of space at the front, right. and then everything. So we did that. Up. We uh, got big monkeys uh, speech. Large primate. Large primate. <laughs> He uh, he gave us a really great rendition of Theodore Roosevelt's speech, or uh, like Frank likes to say, he went back in time. Yeah, I think uh, he either uh, did a really good emulation, or he got into his modified DeLorean and went <laughs> back to 1907 Marty McFly, so. with a little recorder, <laughs> maybe with his... Uh, JVC uh, video camera from the 80s. And, and grabbed Teddy yeah. Roosevelt. Yeah, I think, grabbed his I think speech. That, that's what might have happened. Well, I think, you know, there were some really famous speeches from Teddy Roosevelt that were done in Alabama. I remember reading up something about that, so mm. maybe it, it all went down in Alabama, mm. which is where Big Monkey's from. He did a really great speech. Thank you so much for uh, giving us that. What we did was we took one third of it and put it at the beginning of the track, and we took the other two thirds and put it at the end of the song. So Frank's going to take us through how uh, we have constructed this, and then it will go into the intro of the song. All right, let's have yeah. a look. So basically, uh, a little bit complicated thing that happened here with uh, the file. I'd actually, Big Monkey had sent one that was uh, lo-fi um, with some record scratching. Yeah, just to give us an idea of what he thought it could be. Yeah, sound. and some reverb, which sounded really good. Uh, we took the dry and kind of did our version of that. Um, actually broke it off, uh, uh, put some reverb but left and right to give it some, uh, so, so it was reverb on one side, more dry on the other, uh, to give it some width, uh, then that was copied, and then the, uh, and, and on the second copy of that it was uh, lo-fied uh, again to give it just a little bit more of a grittier sound. Um, Alright. Uh, I'll just play that in solo, what those two things are. You see those two red blobs there. There's some automation on there to kind of make it kind of come in. City streets are unsatisfactory playgrounds for children because of the danger. Because most good games are against the law. Because they are too hot in summer. And because in crowded sections of the city they are apt to be schools of crime. 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 So some delays on them. Yeah, so basically that'll... Uh, blend in with it. I'll play everything. Moved a lot of the ambient stuff, just pulled from uh, a lot of the things that are already in the track. And we'll go over who those people yeah, are. Yeah, but let's just we'll play all together just to see how it's hanging together right now. Subject to a bit of change, but... City streets are unsatisfactory playgrounds for children because of the danger. Because most good games are against the law. Because they are too hot in the summer. And because in crowded sections of the city, they are not to be schools of crime. Nice. So, so tell us how we yeah, let's arrived at all that. this. So I just told you how the, the vocal went to place. Uh, just while we're here, we got Valerie. We got uh, some of her voice in here just to add some ambience. So. And Valerie is from Mexico. Larry, our pirate guy, he... Uh, he engineered that. A resident pirate. Well, everybody should have one, right? I think so, these days. Yeah. You can never... Especially since you're reading about these pirate takeovers in the ocean. Remember, where was that? Where did that happen? Yeah, we're pro-piracy over here. That is <laughs> Pirate Larry. Yes. <laughs> Only in that case. Um, okay, and in speaking of vocals, uh, the group Yaz that had been comped from everyone who'd sent in a Yaz vocal um, were uh, thrown in here. Actually, I think it's just the... Uh, 
let me let's just play that just so you can hear that. And it was they've been reversed and a bunch of effects put on them. Let's hear that. And there's a little more. Let's play that. Cool. That carries over into the. Just going into the intro. To the that first heavy downbeat. intro, yeah. Okay, so um, there's more stuff happening. We got uh, Burning Wick with his magical Ebo. Which, by um, the way, we got to get Frank to do a whole video on the Ebo so you guys can yeah. learn more about what, how, what that does and how it goes. Yeah, but we'll listen to uh, what Burning Wick has here. grid on the end of it. Yeah, so actually what a bunch of stuff was done, edited, flipped around, reverb added, flipped back around, there's a lot of craziness going on with that, but essentially what he had done is gave us a really good ambient Ebo um, track to start with on that, so good job. Awesome. Alright, who do we got next? Uh, I got a little trumpet action from... Chicotes. Chicotes. Also from Mexico, also engineered by Larry, thank you. This, this got messed around a lot just for a really effecty kind of thing because the trumpet's actually all over the song. Yeah, so, so this is just us yeah. messing with it at the beginning. <laughs> so just Hopefully a, that was loud enough that they can hear yeah, that. Yeah, it's just a, a kind of a real crazy reverse trumpet thing. Just adding some texture. And gives it that kind of 1907 grit that, you know, can go with the big monkey's voice, which is really great. Yeah. We got maximum wattage. Listen, if this guy, as if this guy isn't on the song enough now, yeah. right? <laughs> so much. Very thunder-like, right? Yeah, it's just, just, just awesome. A noise. And what was that, Frank? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, and again to this day he sent some stuff in that I'm amazed at and I don't know how he did it. Well, I'm, I'm still, um, I keep putting in my request for him to give us a tour around a studio and show us how he does this thing. Yeah, so. yeah. It might be top secret, who knows? Some be. people keep it top secret. Yeah. Uh, Who's next? Gregory Harvey, ladies and gentlemen. Another guy who isn't on this song near enough, yeah. right? <laughs> some feedback. Greg, your feedback was so good. It would be really great for you to also show us how you do that at home. Yeah, live feedback tracks. All right, what, let's... Uh, uh, oh, this thing... Uh, I mean, everything else is kind of ported over from the original uh, sample hits that were done. Um, we got a little bit of Twin Surge. We have another, some more of the Greg Harvey uh, bell. Reverse oh, yeah. bell is in there. Um, we got, definitely got, uh, some toots going, toots action. That's familiar. It's almost a signature to this song. Right. So those, that's basically what is putting, keeping this All right, intro let's, together. Let's jump to the end here. All right. Uh, the end. In this mouth. Okay. Session. So again, we got, um, uh, large primate. <laughs> <laughs> Big Monkey here with the rest of his and speech. And some of Valerie's stuff's in there as well. More Valerie. Mm -hmm. Listen for We're going to play it once with everything in it here. Um, we got a little bit more of the trumpet. We have um, uh, Mike, Mike G. G. We, play we, some we, of we Mike. talked about that, um, but this is his piano reversed. Wow, that's awesome, right? It's very yeah. uh, childlike in a yeah, creepy like a, way. Kind of a toy, kind of. Thanks, Mike. Thing. Mike came in right at the very end of our project, so it was really great to get something from him. Uh, you guys might re remember hearing this. <laughs> That's uh, so it is amp. Nice. It's her her PV amp. Uh, we talked about. Um, I want to go visit Soda for real and just visit her world. Uh, Lady Kira's brother. Oh yeah, that's the harmonica. Yeah, we played a bit of that before. Do it again. 
did it from the road. That's always good. And, and as well, we have Debbie's can kicking uh, going on. Check this out. Nice. That actually adds a really nice ambience into this whole thing. Um, let's see if we forgot anybody here. Let's play this uh, let's end play. piece. Okay, so I'll play a bit of the end of the song into it. Oh, something soloed. <laughs> <laughs> Try this. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it, guys. That's the beginning. That was Mojo on the the military snare there too. Just oh, right. Forgot about that. I heard it. But, right. Uh, that's, awesome. That's you. All right. So guys, this is the uh, we're mixing this. Hopefully by the end of the weekend we will have something to show you, and we're we're gearing to have those stems posted for Monday night, yes. right, Frank? Absolutely. All right. That's our goal over here. So we will get back to work and give them a rock on. All right, guys. Rock on. Talk soon.